Hello folks, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll make me a little happier. Thank you and let's get started. So, a smartphone's storage capacity is one of the most important selling points for a consumer. But the type of storage is often overlooked. Most Android smartphones and many electronics use the UFS Universal Flash Storage and most flagships nowadays use either 3.0 or 3.1 UFS storage. Samsung has just announced the latest version of its UFS solution and version 4.0 will go into mass production during the third quarter of this year. UFS 4 will deliver big-time gains in speed and efficiency for mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets. We could see the UFS 4 storage solution debut on the latest versions of Sammy's new foldables like the Galaxy Fold 4 and the Galaxy Flip 4. If not, UFS 4.0 is likely to mark its first appearance on the 2023 Galaxy S23 flagship series. In any case, it looks like Android smartphones are going to become faster very, very soon. Samsung says the UFS 4 offers a bandwidth of up to 23.2 gigabits per second per lane, double that of UFS 3.1. Samsung states the UFS 4 is perfect for 5G smartphones requiring huge amounts of data processing. The company that its new 7th generation VNAN technology can enable sequential read speeds of up to 4200 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of up to 2800 megabytes per second, both much higher than the read and write speeds generated by the current UFS 3.1 storage system. Samsung adds that thanks to improvements in power efficiency, handsets using UFS 4.0 can last longer while benefiting from faster read and write speeds. According to the the Korean manufacturer UFS 4 generates a 46% improvement over UFS 3. The new storage tag can be configured to support up to 1TB of storage, so I hope that means we'll begin seeing more smartphones outfitted with 512GB and 1TB capacities. As I said, Samsung expects mass production of UFS 4.0 storage to start in third quarter and be ready for the Galaxy S23 series that should launch in first quarter of 2023. Well, fast memory is good, but you know what's the funniest thing? I would even call it some kind of mockery. The thing is, Samsung also unveiled its new series of microSD cards optimized for video recording in Full HD and 4K. It's called Pro Endurance. Hmm, you know, sounds great for my S22 Ultra. Oh, wait, you see the irony? They make new microSD cards, but they don't let you use them on your phones. Like, instead, here is a new UFS 4 for you. But I think the truth is that many users would prefer the microSD slot on the phone rather than this new UFS 4. Unfortunately, we won't have that option and actually it has a reason. These new cards are primarily for surveillance cameras, dashboard cameras, doorbell cameras, body cameras and GoPro type cameras. The world, you know, doesn't revolve around smartphones. Anyway, according to the official statement, the microSD card can record non-stop for 16 years. The Samsung Pro Endurance is built with in-house NAND flash memory and can last as long as 33 typical speed focus cards, which are the Evil Plus series. Reading speeds are up to 100 megabytes per second, while writing is up to 40 megabytes per second, depending on the capacity. Compare it with UFS 4, by the way. 40 megabytes per second is still low for modern smartphones that can record 8K videos. And if you didn't know, this is actually one of the reasons why smartphone manufacturers remove microSD slots on their phones. The card comes in four sizes up to 256 gigabytes, and each capacity has different endurance, but all four in the thousands of hours. The cards are already available worldwide. Prices start from $11. Guys, we have a lot of exciting news about Samsung ahead of us, so make sure to subscribe to our channel, also share the video with your friends, thanks for watching and good luck!